I know, I know. Nobody wants to talk about the dress code. Well, don't panic. That's not exactly what we're doing right now. We are going to talk for a few minutes about the standard of dress expected at Orion Junior High. Imagine that your car breaks down on your way to school. That's pretty stressful, right? Well, obviously you're going to have to take that car to a mechanic. And so you call a tow truck and the man who hops out of the truck is dressed in a three-piece suit. And while there is absolutely nothing wrong with wearing a suit, it's just not exactly appropriate for a mechanic to wear to work. Now imagine that you've been really sick for a long time and you go to your doctor and the doctor says, you're gonna need to have some surgery to fix the problem. But after that, you're gonna be just fine. So you head to the hospital on the day of the surgery and meet your brain surgeon. And again, while there is really nothing wrong with dressing like Larry the Cable Guy, you probably don't really want Larry the Cable Guy operating on your brain. It comes down to this. Dressing for success is a real thing. In fact, studies have shown that wearing nice clothes can affect the way people perceive you, how confident you feel, and even how you're able to think abstractly. And get this, studies also show that people who dress appropriately for the workplace make more money. You might be thinking, but I'm not a business person. You actually are in the business of being a student and your job is to learn. And these dress standards that we have here at Orion are simply there to help you dress for success. Nobody should look at these dress standards as just another rule that is trying to stifle your individuality. Not at all. We are simply requesting your assistance in helping us maintain a positive and productive environment so that all of us can learn, which is our job. So we're asking you to dress for success in the classroom. Let's take just a minute to read through the bullet points of the student professional learning dress standard that you and your parents signed when you registered for school this year. And by the way, all of these items apply to both genders. Number one, school clothing must be modest. Two, shirts, tops, and dresses must have sleeves. Three, no low cut fronts, bare backs, or bare midriffs. You can tell if you have a bare midriff if you raise your elbows to shoulder height. And if you can see skin, that's a bare midriff. Number four, Shorts or skirts must be mid-thigh length or longer. Number five, jeans that are shredded or with holes must also have covering under them, at least to the mid-thigh. Next, no underwear exposed or visible. Headwear will not be permitted, including but not limited to hats, caps, and beanies. This guideline is not here because we at Orion don't like hats. No, not at all. It's actually a safety issue. We need to be able to see your faces in the hallway to make sure everyone's safe. Next up, clothing and accessories will not be permitted if they are sexually provocative, display offensive language or slogans, advertise any substances a student cannot legally possess or are gang related. No potentially dangerous apparel items, such as large chains, spiked clothing or accessories. And finally, state health law requires that shoes be worn in school at all times. No slippers. Now that you know all about the professional learning dress standard here at Orion, we're asking you this. As you choose your outfit every morning, just think about how you can dress for success.